Shemuel Aleph, chapter 18. And it came to be, when he had ended speaking to Shaul, that the being of Jehonathan was knit to the being of David, and Jehonathan loved him as his own being. And Shaul took him that day, and would not let him return to his father's house any more. And Jehonathan and David made a covenant, because he loved him as his own being. And Jehonathan took off the robe that was on him and gave it to David, and his garments, even to his sword and his bow and his girdle. And David went out wherever Shaul sent him. He acted wisely, and Shaul set him over the men of battle, and it was right in the eyes of all the people, and also in the eyes of Shaul's servants. And it came to be, as they came in, as David was returning from striking the Philistine, that the woman came out from all the cities of Israel, singing and dancing, to meet Shaul the sovereign with tambourines, with joy, and with musical instruments. And the woman sang as they danced, and said, Shaul struck his thousands, and David his ten thousands. And Shaul was very wroth, and this matter was evil in his eyes, and he said, To David they have given ten thousands, and to me they have given thousands. So what more for him, except the rain? And from that day on Shaul eyed David. And it came to be on the next day that an evil spirit from Elohim came upon Shaul, and he prophesied inside the house, while David was playing the lyre with his hand as usual, and the spear was in the hand of Shaul. Then Shaul hurled the spear, for he said, Let me strike David even to the wall. But twice David withdrew from his presence. And Shaul was afraid of David, because Yahweh was with him. But from Shaul he had turned away. Shaul therefore removed him from his presence, and made him his commander over a thousand. And he went out and came in before the people. And David was acting wisely in all his ways, and Yahweh was with him. And Shaul saw that he was acting very wisely, and was afraid of him. But all Israel and Yehuda loved David, and he went out and came in before them. And Shaul said to David, See, my older daughter Merav, I give her to you as a wife. Only be brave for me, and fight the battles of Yahweh. For Shaul thought, Let not my hand be against him, but let the hand of the Philistines be against him. And David said to Shaul, Who am I, and what is my life or my father's clan in Israel, that I should be son-in-law to the sovereign? And it came to be at that time when Merav, Shaul's daughter, should have been given to David, that she was given to Adriel the Mecholatite as a wife. And Michal, Shaul's daughter, loved David, and they told Shaul, and the matter was right in his eyes. And Shaul said, Let me give her to him, and let her be a snare to him, and the hand of the Philistines be against him. So Shaul said to David a second time, Become my son-in-law today. And Shaul commanded his servants, Speak to David gently, and say, See, the sovereign has delighted in you, and all his servants have loved you, and now be the sovereign's son-in-law. And the servants of Shaul spoke those words in the hearing of David, and David said, Does it seem to you a small matter to be a sovereign son-in-law, seeing I am a poor man and lightly esteemed? And the servants of Shaul told him, saying, David has spoken according to these words. And Shaul said, Say to David, The sovereign has no delight in any payment for the bride but one hundred foreskins of the Philistines, to take vengeance on the sovereign's enemies. But Shaul intended to have David fall by the hand of the Philistines, and his servants declared these words to David, and it pleased David well to become the sovereign's son-in-law. And the days had not expired, and David arose and went, he and his men, and struck two hundred men of the Philistines. And David brought their foreskins, and they set them before the sovereign, to become the sovereign's son-in-law. And Shaul gave him Michal his daughter as a wife. And Shaul saw and knew that Yahweh was with David, and Michal, daughter of Shaul, did love him. So then Shaul was still more afraid of David, and Shaul came to be an enemy of David all the days. And the princes of the Philistines went out to fight, and it came to be, whenever they went out, that David acted more wisely than all the servants of Shaul, so that his name came to be very precious.